Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra Mod. Today we are going to jump in as steroids. I just want to play as him. We start off with the double fists as well, which honestly is one of my favourite things ever as this guy. He just starts off as this boxing champion and we can carry ourselves as far as this will take us. There's kind of a few things you need for this to really work out. But I just love this as an initial set as an initial setup. Also, I apologize that we missed an episode last week between the Nuzlocke and Fiendfolio coming out with Isaac. I've been kind of trying to balance between a few things here and there, um, and Nuclear Throne kind of slipped between the cracks. So for those of you that are really into this game, which I know there's quite a few of you actually, I apologize. This is a very fun game that I very much enjoy playing, and I don't want to leave by the wayside at all, whenever possible. I did uh, open the mouth of this, so we should go to Fish World, I think. Right, which is kind of dangerous. So I'm going to take that. Um... Oh, maybe I didn't click it in time. Maybe because the boss intro started, it didn't count. I thought it did, but... Must have not done. Wait, what? Didn't we just fight you? Now I'm just confused. <laughs> that was, that's a second big bandit. Um, hello? I mean, I suppose it's more rads, which we can never complain about, but... It's a little confusing. The sewers stink. Indeed they do, text. Indeed they do. But they don't stink quite so much when you've got these rad boxing gloves that are just, oh, the most fun to use. They definitely have quite a lot of risk associated with them. But I think that's like part of their charm. Especially when playing as like steroids when you get, you get to do the double fist McGee. The double fister. Double fister mister is the only way I know how. So there's a few different scenarios in which we could very easily perish here. You just saw one of them being that we um, drive ourselves directly into an explosive with very little regard for our own safety or well-being. Um, that, was, that was the main potential issue. And I did that by driving my cranium directly into the bonnet of that car. Um, but, like I said, that is going to happen from time to time. I kind of don't know how we didn't take any damage there. I'm going to accept it, because why wouldn't I? There's another car bomb on us. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, the, these areas that have a lot of cars about... Ooh, okay, you can just exit now. That's new, right? That's definitely new. Um, so if I just go to exit, does that mean I don't have to choose no crown? That is a very good addition. Because I, I quite often choose no crown, so... That is a new thing that has been added that I very much like. Okay, we do have these fellas that are trying to assassinate me. And honestly, they're male layer 2, which threatens my... Um, Threatens my big muscles and my ego, so they need to go, of course. I have to say, I feel like using fists against this guy may not be the best of ideas, so I'm going to take this and use it just in the meantime here. Just because I feel like there's a, a decent chance that using fists against this fella ends in nothing but sadness. We did manage to take him out, we can go back and pick our fist up again. And carry on with our normal lives. I see you there, assassin. You can't stop me. I know there's more enemies somewhere. That was close. We overhealed this time around. Hell. Oh my god. The risk is, uh, is, is filling me up. I think alkaline saliva could be really good. Um, I don't think Throne but does much for us. Let's take Alkaline Saliva. I think it's going to help a lot. Especially with some of the explosive enemies in here that I am likely to hit myself on. Okay, you actually went down fairly easily compared to what I was expecting. What I would like right now is the ability to get Gamma Guts. Because Gamma Guts feels like it would be a real step up for us. I was really expecting to die there. We do seem to get like a little bit of iframes on the explodey enemies. It isn't all that many, but it is like enough to keep us alive. So 
Galaga's super good. I mean, Strong Spirit right now is pretty good. This is another enemy in which I feel like we can't... We can't really face with the likes of a fist. So I'm just going to pick up whatever's nearest and hope it does a decent job. And seemingly, that is the case right now. I don't know what we, what we hold in our hands here, but it's firing off a mighty lot of good stuff. I reckon three or four more bursts of this thing should put this guy to rest. There you go. It was the Super Splinter Gun. Nice. And we keep our fists. I will only put these down in, ta in times of true dire need, I promise you. At least for this first run. We'll see how this first run goes. And after that, we might decide that this has been a foolish gambit from the start. Okay, I see that guy holding a car. Don't like the look of that. That everyone done? There's one more fella that managed to escape my wrath. Ah, you just made it up here. Okay. Not too bad. Isn't it? too many things to explode us on this floor apart from the big spider tanks. They, of course, range in their um, threateningness. I'd say for the most part they're going to be fine. I think they've been able to, like, basically reduce the cooldown by holding two of them uh, of the fists here. Health dispenser is rather nice. Get a little back up to full here. Go through here. Aha! Even these spawn at the door. This is... This is a really, 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 really impressive change. I, I know it seems like something really minor, but that that's a huge, like, pet peeve that I've always had. That I've never really aired, just because I thought it was always something that would just... It, it wasn't worth talking about because it was always going to stay that way, sort of thing. Um, But... In this situation, there actually is something that's been done about it, so now I can admit that, yeah, I I, I never really realised how little I liked um, having to get involved with running back and forth up there. Can we get this guy through the wall? Not quite. We do have explosive in one of these fists now, which is really nice. Probably got a few more guys down here. Yeah, we do. Dude, that was close. That was a little closer than I'd like to admit. Um, boiling veins. Boiling veins is probably a good idea because it does trigger at 5 HP now rather than the 4 that it used to. We are reaching areas in which contact damage with an enemy is an insta kill, which is pretty scary. If these, um, these diamonds, if you touch them, you just die. I think they do 20 damage on a contact hit. The spiders don't do anywhere near as much as that, but it's still not friendly. So we get, we got to be really cautious about getting contact damage on these guys. And I think the boss on this stage, the big bat dude, this is just not going to be a plausible tactic in any way, shape or form. Also, to be fair, for these bat guys, it's not super plausible. Didn't get any of this, the dudes on this floor. It's a big bat. We'll have to take the shotgun rifle here. Which, oh, we're in a terrible spot for this attack. Okay, so let's come down here. He's going to do his, yeah, he's going to do this attack, which honestly isn't that bad. But it gives me very little time to hit him. Okay, so shotgun rifle just alternates between shotgun and rifle. It's not a shotgun that is a rifle or a rifle that is a shotgun. It just alternates, which is a decent way of this working. I feel like there's a there's a non-zero chance that I die to this guy. He's just doing that attack way too much. Okay, we managed it. We get to go back and get our fist real quick. And then what do we have next? We have the the um mansion next. Not mansion, you know what I mean. Yes, we have to have this area. Now this area I am probably most concerned about. Just because I feel like our damage has now gotten to the point where with these fists where it might not be enough. And as you are clearly seeing, that is entirely the case. I am at one health. I was about to say, there's no way I live. Anyways, okay, let's do another run. We'll keep our fists for a little bit, but this time we'll swap them out um, early enough to not be stupid. I'm not going to take my items that are bad, but I will swap them out if I need to. So we're going to go down to this floor as well. 
I also just like it for the, the ability to move around the stage so fast. Like, the ammo cost is, is so little for what you get for it, so just being able to move around the stage really fast is really nice. I think the Morpho gun, I was just about to say, would be really good. Doesn't matter, because I'm dead. Uh, creamed head first into that explosion. Ooh, being able to escape from the, the portal's suckage is rather nice. Okay, cool. We got to level two. That's basically all we want when going down here. Um, I think Alkaline Saliva is going to be great for us. Um, yeah, so we have to be a little careful about these guys that fire explosives. The dogs were doing a very nice job of. So Alkaline Saliva eats that first hit for us. Rather nice. Okay, so this, this area, I do want to go back there. But that area seems like it's going to be really really tricky to get away with doing this tactic. But at the same time, I don't really want to take one of the weaker guns in the early stage. All we really want is a level 2 from this. Let's go down. Ba -da 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 -da. Eagle eyes. Let's take Bolt Marrow and hope for the best. I think Bolt Marrow is a decent gambit. We need, need to do what I just did there and be a little more calculated about when we decide to strike so that we don't get uh, hit by the explosive. I don't think that's out of this world, out of the, out of the question. Where was our weapons crate? Shovel. Sh do you know what? Let's take shovel as our secondary. And then we. I think we've got a little bit of a wombo combo going on here. Uh, also, let's take power craving or powder craving, whatever it's called. Yes, okay. So we dash into them, then hit them with a shovel. I never really considered a tactic such as this, but it's seemingly quite effective. Seemingly quite effective indeed. Okay, now we get Gamma Guts, which definitely improves this. Um, and then... I think we go with shotgun on the fist. Oh, also the animation on those is significantly quicker than it used to be. That's also really nice. Some very, very good improvements from what I'm seeing here. Okay, so the shotgun on this seems, seems great. Scythe seems interesting. Okay, now you may be wondering, why did I dash into that guy? Now, my answer to that is, I didn't mean to. Like, actually didn't mean to whatsoever. <laughs> I, I accidentally swapped weapons from the scythe. I, me I meant to use the scythe, and I used the fist. Led to my demise. Not my proudest moment, but it happened. That's the problem there. When you, like, dash into an enemy that's near a wall... Also, I seem to be dashing through drops a lot, which is problematic in itself. Yo-yo gun could be something we're looking for here. Um, Insomnia seems like it could be interesting. Honestly, yeah, that was that was really valuable. That seemed pretty good. Duh, duh, duh. Flex of elbow again. Gamma guts again, we'll take that. Yeah, we'll just leave. That's, that is, oh, that is one of the best changes I've seen to Nuclear Throne ever. Forget all this new additional content bullshit. Making my life very marginally easier and saving me a very marginal amount of time. Hell yes. Okay. Didn't see all the doggies coming in there. Accidentally dived at him again. Keep doing that. It is an accident. Okay, I did manage to kill him there. I wasn't expecting that. The auto crossbow. Okay, auto crossbow is a great pickup here. And it's a, a, a reasonably high level piece of loot. Again, you may be wondering, what the hell just happened? Well, I fired at that enemy so many times that I assumed he had to be dead. 
But no, he was slightly glitched inside the wall and thus wasn't hittable. Very saddening. Truly a depressing moment. I see you there, little invisible dude. Directed grenade launcher isn't really great for us. Yeah, these guys seem to be able to like hide in the walls a little bit. Which is slightly annoying. Chap stress seems good for us right now. Uh, let's take second stomach as well, why not? I feel like sharp stress on an area like this could reduce some of the pain we're having. Okay. SMG. You're gonna hit me with the SMG. Look at that. Easy come, easy go. Level four now. Oh, 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 oh. We got the super crossbow for that, for that privilege as well. That was pretty good. Okay, that was that was a stressy, stressy boy, but that that ended up working out just fine. Um, let's go with that, and then let's go with let's go with that as well. Okay, this area I imagine to be a lot tougher for us. Yeah, that that is... We basically are unable to use our fist in this stage. Which is essentially what I assumed would be the issue. Just because poison. Plus uh, getting up close and personal with enemies. Not a great mix. But that was a really quick stage though. But our ammo is now suffering. This shouldn't be as bad, I don't think. That was, no, that was, that was really, really bad. <laughs> That's all, this is a lot of fun though. I'm enjoying the, the sort of challenge of this. Where's the, uh, where's the thing? There it is. We're through already. I kind of like the challenge of this area. It's a little bit of something else. Got to be careful of that ammo consumption here and there. Oh, we got an inverted area. Now that presents a real challenge. Holy. That presents an insane challenge. I don't think I've ever been to the... Um, to the reverse version of this area. But I imagine it to be a hellscape. And so far that is proving to be incredibly true. Incredibly true indeed, but we made our way through. And let's grab Tough Shell. Let's grab that as well. Straight through we go. This, it looks visually awesome. Like, absolutely awesome. Okay, I think I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> The inverted area plus melee. We just need to find some better weapons. We're not really finding great weaponry to go into this area with. Shotgun doesn't really cut it for us.
We need to find something that's got a bit more oomph to it. Because this thing just does too much damage to put one foot down. I mean, it is ultimately what's leading to my death. But it just does so much damage that it's so hard for me to say, no, let's use something else. Very, very hard to deny. Don't worry about the long-term effects. Oh, Lord. I think the long-term effects of radiation are known to be not so hot. Okay, we cleared out most of that stage and came away with a bit more health. Take Rabbit Paw mainly, because we're in the action a lot. I think if we get the jump on enemies, we're kind of good. Without the jump, it's a lot harder. Big Vulture's also just problematic as shit. You can also chew on enemies' bodies, which is not so good. Okay, when he does that dive attack, we've got a chance. Blood Shotgun. Finally something I can get behind. Quadruple Shotgun. Also something I can get behind. Let's take Rhino Skin here. Alright, this is the area we need to be pretty careful anyways. Blood Shotgun is, seems to be decent, but I am noticing it's very low range. Like, And honestly, these enemies might be a bit too strong for it. Blood weapons do tend to have weaker damage. Let's take the big Kraken weapon. Kraken weapons gen generally are pretty fun. Pretty useful. Do a lot of damage. We've seen it before. Damn, though. We are taking a beating right now. And obviously, as well, they've got the negativity of pulling your enemies directly towards you, which generally not an advised tactic. Oh, my lord. We sent... This guy into super mode. Beautiful. Yeah, this isn't practical at all, is it? This next stage is going to be really rough, I think. I think we just play it extremely safe and from a distance with the Kraken weapons. Let's see what we can get done. Because one good thing about them is they are pretty good at distance. Maybe we pull them in with the Kraken thing. Oh god. There's so many of them. Okay, we actually did that then. Ooh, an auto-explosive crossbow sounds like our next big thing. Let's go with that, shall we? Not very accurate, which is problematic for something explosive. It's getting the job done. Bush box is a guy I forgot about. Just fire a bunch of them down there. Bush box will kind of deal with you as you come. If we keep traveling upwards, he has a pretty hard time hitting us, which is kind of nice. But you can't do that forever. Okay, we can do it long enough to get him killed though. Not expecting that to be the case. Yeah, this thing really needs homing to be kind of useful. Because right now it's not so hot. It just burns for ammo and it's not very accurate. <sighs> okay. Made our way through. Into the Look at that. I'm going like point blank range and it doesn't hit him. Maybe we just need eagle eyes. Maybe eagle eyes would just be like the ultimate remedy. One good thing is sometimes I'm missing and the game's still like, nope, you hit. That's good. 
That enemy I couldn't even hit there. Give us Bolt Marrow after this. That'd be so good. Right, what's next? Come on, you. Go down. Huzzah. Right. Bolt Marrow, Eagle Eyes, either would be pretty good. None of the above. I'm going to go with Patience then. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bide my time, try and get something we actually need. One second, I'll take a sip of my drink. I have a lemon gin and lemonade. It's very good. Look at the... Oh my god, the inaccuracy of this beast. I just pulled that guy directly into me and took contact damage. Wow. Okay. Let's go for one more. One more with Fist Mania. Straight through. I'm just going to go all guns blazing here and see what happens. So far, so good. That's not the end of this stage, though, apparently. Oh, no, it is. It just took a while for the portal to spawn. Didn't fill up the portal enough. I was kind of going to utilize that. That was bullshit. Anyways, I guess we'll just leave it there. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.